into the arena, the Don Juan Banks, on Saturday, UFC 182. It was John Bones Jones, the UFC light heavyweight champion, versus DC Daniel Cormier. Five round strategic war, and John Jones came out the victor. He's on his way to being mixed martial arts greatest fighter ever. Uh, he wants to be known as the greatest. Uh, I predicted DC. Tommy Regenstein predicted DC. We saw something in DC. The fact that he took fourth in the Olympics is uh, he never lost a round. Um, he was 15 and 0, 13 and 0 at heavyweight, 2 and 0 at light heavyweight before this uh, fight, before this loss. Uh, DC looked a little bit flat. He wasn't as fast as he usually usually be, but he did uh, do some great inside boxing, dirty boxing. He was great in the clinch, but it seemed like he got exhausted in the fourth round where he got taken down, but he continued to push forward. He even said that he suffered some injuries. Uh, but DC literally cried, and he said that uh, he will be back. And um, I wanted to play that footage for everybody. Um, it, it, to, to me, I was uh, a little bit hurt by it myself because I really invested in a lot with DC and um, I just want to take my hat off to DC right now because he, he will be back. He's very strong. He has rebuilded himself before 2008 Olympics. When he cut weight, he, um, he got sick. He couldn't compete. And uh, he rebuilded himself after he gained weight and went into depression. So basically, DC is going to get himself back together. He's going to diet better. He's going to train harder. He's going to make sure that he showcases his true ability in the octagon. Um, he's going to have to take some fights first to work his way back up, but I believe 100% that he will be back to face uh, whoever the champion is at that time. If it is John Jones, he will face John Jones. If it's not John Jones, the champion, he'll face the champion or they'll meet again. Um, we know Alexander Gustafson is going against Anthony Johnson. I got Gustafsson in that fight. Um, don't take nothing away from Anthony Johnson. I, I love him to death. I think he's a great fighter. He could potentially pull off that that uh, the win. I don't think it's an upset win, but he could potentially pull that off. But I would love to see Gustafsson versus Jones again. Um, other than that, I just think that DC, um, uh, he got hurt. His ribs got hurt. Um, his leg got hurt. He said that something was taken out of him when he took that John Jones knee. And uh, he had to push through it. But let's go to the uh, two interviews, one from from uh, the post-press conference and the other uh, from Ariel Wani. We're going to end on that. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching um, my coverage of John Bones Jones versus DC Daniel Cormier. We got a lot of UFC fans. They coming back. We really appreciate that. You know, um, it was our opinion. We believed that uh, DC was going to win. It did not happen. Things like that happen all the time. But I just want to say one more time before we get to these interviews. Daniel Cormier, uh, just because you lost, you have no reason to have hold your head down because you fought a great fight. I, got, I know a lot of fans that said it was a draw. I know a lot of fans that felt DC won. Um, I'm not going to take anything away from John Bones Jones. I felt he won the fight. I had it 3-2 for Jones. I'm not going to get on here and, and try to say Jones lost or anything like that. I take my hat off to him. I respect him. And he's on his way to being the greatest. But DC Daniel Cormier, one more time. You know, he's so strong. DC is the man, I tell you. He, he just he just has so many ethics and morals. And the way that he carries his life is so admirable. Um, I just can't wait to see a guy like DC back in the cage again. And I can't wait to see him on UFC uh, live. Let's go to the post press conference. DC Daniel Cormier. Uh, it's very difficult, you know. I've worked so hard to, to try and become a, a champion at the highest levels for a really long time, but you know it hasn't really worked out for me. You know, um, this one's tough. You know, I truly believe that I can get the job done. I thought I could get the job done. And as we were fighting, you know, it, it still felt pretty good. And, 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 and uh, you know, I can't say enough about uh, his, 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 uh, his mentality inside of that octagon. I 
shared that cage with some very, very strong men and some very big men, uh, heroes, superheroes, and, and uh, I can't say enough about his, his uh, grit and his determination because I pushed him, you know, I pushed him and I, I went after him and I, I fought him and he did, he did a great job, but difficult. Um, but you know, man, I've had to rebuild myself a number of times like people can't even imagine. And uh, it's no different. It's not going to ruin me. You know, there's one way or the other. I'm going to stand across the case from that man again. And uh, I'll believe this as I did tonight. And I'll take the fight to him again, I guess. Thank you for being so candid. And last, how do you feel? to be that candid, to be that real, to just be, you know, honest, uh, takes a lot. And we're going to go to the second interview, which was conducted by Ariel Awani. Uh, we got that first interview from MMA Junkie, want to give them the credit, and we're getting this from UFC on Fox. Uh, it was conducted by Ariel Awani. Can you put it to words how you're feeling after a fight like that? Uh, just disappointment, you know, it was, uh, I worked so hard to try to accomplish this goal and it just didn't happen. Do you feel like you did everything you can do to win that fight? Or looking back, and I know it's fresh, do you feel like there were some points here or there that you could have done more? I could have fought better. I mean, uh, you know, my manager and coach told me that generally I, I fight better inside of the cage than I do in practice. And today I didn't I didn't do that. Uh, you know, I, he's, he was better today, you know. He, uh, he beat me. He won the fight. He, he fought well. And. He's obviously a champion for a reason, and uh, he showed it tonight. Was there anything that he did that surprised you? Uh, you know, not really. I, I think we were well, well prepared for what he was doing. If anything surprised me, you know, he felt a little big uh, in the clinch. And, um, you know, fourth round, I, I kind of took that round off. I, I wish I would have competed better in the fourth round. I didn't, I didn't fight to my potential in that round. How was your cardio? Cardio was fine, you know, I, I felt okay. I mean, obviously, over the course of a five-round fight, you get tired. Especially with the pace that we set early in the first round and the second round was uh, very high. A lot of a lot of infighting, which is, which is tough. And then, you know, for the first time in my career, I was actually absorbing damage as the fight was was, was, uh, was playing out. So, you know, it, uh, obviously it slows you down. It slows you down when you're taking some damage, you know. You, he landed a really good knee or something in the very first round that kind of got my rib real good, you know, and, and, and I could feel it. Uh, and he did a great job of punching to the body. Uh, Percy was hitting me with a left uh, body shot right on my rib. And then as the fight progressed, he changed it to more of a straight punch to my rib, which was every time he hit me with it, I could feel it uh, take some energy out of my body. Well, Daniel, again, thank you very much for the time and I uh, appreciate you giving us a few minutes. Congratulations on a great effort. Uh, thank you, guys. Daniel, thank you, Rick. Congratulations on a great effort, DC. I can't wait to see you in the octagon again. Thank you. 